Welcome in. I am G Paul Silvermane. Uh, I do apologize for my hair. I feel like crud. I got that chest cold, nausea, that cough. It's awful. But in this video, I want to talk about the shop, which is where you can spend real, real money and get different things and kind of talk about what I recommend and whatnot, as well as the store here, the bartender, the barkeep. Um, and I'm going to cover all the things in here that I recommend you buy under what circumstances. Um, if that sounds like something that interests you, definitely stick around, but also subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Um, especially if it helps you comment down below, what do you spend on? So that way the other people can get your opinions as well while we're building this community. Definitely check out the discord linked in the description below. Um, we are building a solid community over there of awakened chaos era players. Um, as well as I do a lot of Marvel strike force. So you can also check that out, but they have their separate chats and everything so that we can have tons of fun and make friends over there. Um, all that stuff's completely free to do. Let's go ahead and dive in here and cover some of this stuff. <coughs> so when you go into the shop here, if you're a spender, what I recommend buying is your gold card, your magic pass. Uh, I also grab up on these newbie growth packs sometimes. like um, Not this one per se, but the one that was like so many gems. And what you want to spend money on, in my personal opinion, is the magic pass and the two cards. So we're going to go shop, monthly card. I got both. This is five bucks. This is fifteen dollars, so it's twenty dollars total, and that's nine ninety nine for the magic pass. But you get a legendary character, tons of pumpkins, tons of loot from the magic pass. Um, that is the best value. And then these cards are great because it gives you a steady income of uh, diamonds, and you'll get a hundred from this every day and three hundred from this every day for a month. That's four hundred di diamonds a day you can spend on refreshing energy, doing advanced or ancient summon pulls, advanced summon pulls, all that good stuff. Now looking at this diamond shop, I recommend, honestly, if you're ever gonna, if you're a big Kraken or a well, this is awesome. They're giving you twice the value. But as you see here, 600 diamonds for a first time purchase for five bucks. You're gonna get tons of 4.99 offers from the game. That's gonna give you five or 600 diamonds. And it's gonna give you like a bunch of pumpkins, jellies, um, tons of other great stuff. So don't buy the diamonds Specifically, if you're not a big spender, what I would recommend spending it on is like, uh, let's see if they have any of the packs here. So like a newbie growth pack, 50% um, off. They didn't give no diamonds in that one though. Let's go to recommended limited shop. And there's not going to be a pack in here, is there? Daily packs, but you'll see them for $4.99. Um, let's try this one. See what it shows here. So that's not a good one, in my opinion. I mean, they're not terrible offers. They're just five bucks a piece. That's something you'd have to... But you'll get recommended like a four ninety nine dollars pack, right? And it'll get, like I said, it'll give you 500 diamonds. So you're getting your value in diamonds right off the bat. And then any extra loot they give you, whether it's pumpkins or XP jellies or anything like that, is just a bonus, okay? So if you're going to be buying diamonds, instead, wait for these packs to pop up for four ninety nine, So you get your diamond value and then some. Because oftentimes you're getting double the diamond value for the cost, right? They're only giving you 300 diamonds for five bucks. You're getting like five to 600 diamonds for 499 plus a bunch of pumpkins or XP jelly. So definitely manage that. That's the only way I would spend money. And like I said, the two monthly cards in the Magic Pass, I will be buying every month. Anything else is just optional. They did offer a pack in the very beginning of 10 summons here. 10 of these, uh, I want to see what they're called, advanced summons. And offered some other things for like $9.99. I grabbed up on that. Or $4.99 or something like that. Because it, the summons, they value them at 150 crystals. So, 150 crystals for 10 summons, that's 1,500 crystals. If you look here in the diamond shop, how many diamonds do they give us? For? 1,500 diamonds is tw over $20. You're going to have to spend uh, both of these right here to get 1,500 diamonds. 25 bucks. Um, that's what I'm saying. So I got $25 worth of summons, essentially, for like 5 or $10. And that's the, the packages you want to watch where you're getting that awesome value. And that's that's if you're a spender. Now, if you're free to play, as well as a spender, I want to cover the barkeep here and what you should be buying. As you can see, I bought every single item. Um, the reason I'm buying the gear is because you don't get enough of the enhancement materials. Um, and I just have over 2 million gold and it keeps stacking up. I keep spending it and I'm farming constantly building gold. I don't have enough. The gold from what I've seen is mostly spent enhancing gear. So I'm going to go to my heroes here and show you a little bit for the gear. And this is where your gold's going to mostly be spent. So when you're enhancing, see the cost right here and you don't get enough of these uh, gems 
to build up enough gear, right? So you're going to need these extra pieces of gear for the, any XP you can get, right? And that little bit of gold that you're not using for nothing else can be bought, spent buying those gear pieces as well as what you farmed. But if you look here, the cost just gets astronomical, right? So I used all my gems, and I'm up to 63,000 to get to a plus 12. That's pretty solid. Um, and if you're doing that on each piece of gear, you can see how it could add up. But I want to show you on a character I've actually built out. Um, so let's see what it costs here to enhance this to 15. Oh, it's all based off the gems and stuff that you use. But anyway, you can see I have tons of gold. And I was still able to bring all this gear up. And the gold's still accumulating. The problem is I don't have the stuff, the gems, to put into the gear. So that's why I'm buying the gear from the shop. I have more gold than I need, and I don't have enough gear to smash in, essentially. Um, so I would highly recommend you buy all of it. As well as I'm buying these gems for the gold uh, price, as well as these uh, glyphs. So that way I don't have to farm these glyphs. I can go farm better glyphs later, because you're going to need these to build up characters. Level 1, 2, 3, glyphs, 4s. Um, it's just saving you time and crystals on refreshing energy. Um, I got plenty of gold, so I recommend buying all this, depending on your gold status. Um, free to play, I don't know what you're going to be looking like on gold. I don't know how much I'm getting from buying those, the magic pass and all that stuff. Okay, I don't know the difference there. I cannot speak to that. But if you have plenty of gold, you're going to want to be buying all this stuff. Now, we're going to go to the diamond shop. And there's three gems in here. Advanced summons, and they charge you 100 apiece, which is 50 off of each. I highly recommend for even free to play you buy these three. Because you're not, you're going to get, most of your advanced summons are going to come from quests, foodie quests, um, achievements, unlocks like that, or events that you're doing and completing stuff. Definitely buy these. Um, foodies, I recommend buying as well, unless you have a bunch. Um, they're not necessary, but they will save you so much XP. It's unreal. Like The XP to gems is massive. Unless you're in Mythic Campaign, then the foodies are no longer viable. You're better off just farming Mythic Campaign. You'll get more XP jelly to be able to invest into a, a scrub character, essentially, is what we call them. Now, these are 30 gems, and you get it once a day. You're getting 100 energy for 30 gems. And for 50 for fifty g diamonds, you usually get 120 energy, right, when you're refreshing your energy. So 50 diamonds, 120 energy. I'm getting two of these for 30 gems. That's 100. So I'm losing 20 energy, but I'm saving 20 gems, right? You're going to refresh energy sometime. This is, um, in my opinion, this is the mandatory thing right here. Buy this every day because you're going to spend your diamonds on refreshing energy. I promise you that. You are never... That's the main thing for diamonds. Especially any spending free-to-play anything. This game's about refreshing energy and farming gear, glyphs, all that good stuff. Okay? So definitely buy these. This is the best value here. Anything else in here is on you. But I've started buying these. But then I forget when I go to bed to turn them off. And I lose 8 hours. If you buy four of these, which makes 24 hours, it's going to cost you 600. You're spending 100 more diamonds. Obviously, this is the way to go, but you really have to manage it. Make sure you're turning this off um, up here. See how it's turned off right now? I got the 24 hour one going. These do seem to stack. So I had like 15 minutes left and I popped a six minute one or six hour one and went up to six hours and 15 minutes. So it seemed to stack. If you're worried about going in and doing 10 fights and walking away and your timer's going to run out here, you can pop a six and it'll stack for you. Um, but you got to remember, turn it off and on when you want it. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? It's It eludes your brain, and that's how the game's getting you, kind of, in a way. It's You know what I mean? So I do like these 150s. Um, they last six hours, and I usually get a day or two of farming out of one of these. Um, but like I said, I wasted eight hours. Otherwise, I'd be up at like 18 hours still on my XP. These are almost mandatory. Um, the XP you're gaining... It's going to save you. Like, if you're limited on diamonds, buying one of these and refreshing energy with your leftover diamonds while this is running is giving you double XP jelly. That's massive, okay? Um, for 150 gems, essentially, you're going to get three energy refreshes. You're going to get more XP running one of these than if you just buy straight energy with your gems. So definitely look into grabbing one of these and monitoring it and keeping it going. I don't buy these because it's what they charge you no matter what. This is the standard price, so why buy gems and stock up on them, right? This other stuff in here, you got to make your personal choice. I have not went and spent diamonds, but I'm not a kraken. I'm a little dolphin, I like to think. I do spend, but not, you know what I mean? I don't have unlimited resources. I want to manage my gems efficiently. So these are something you have to decide on. Let me know if you're finding good value in these. All right, so now we're going to get into the, the real meat of it, uh, the guild vault. And we're a very active guild, and this is all I've accumulated. 
since starting the game, essentially. And I think I'm in like 10, 12 days in, right? Since launch. These look phenomenal. You're going to need 100 of her shards, I do believe, to synthesize her. And then you're going to need six more copies to ascend her. Is this a good value? I don't know. Is that once a month you want 10 little shards of her? It's going to take you a year to get her, right? Looking at some of this gear, it is phenomenal. You got percentage health, percentage focus, precision, and speed. These are amazing stats as well as a percentage stat on the main up top. Okay? Um, these are phenomenal pieces of gear. These are best in slot pieces of gear, essentially. Every stat on here is phenomenal. Um, 600 coins, though, so two weeks, three weeks of your guild income coins, um, depending on how active your guild is, this is a pretty phenomenal piece of gear, okay? Let's go ahead and look at this one. 9% attack, a percentage up here again. Three percentages. The flat defense, in my opinion, sucks, but you're getting a defense percentage, resistance percentage, and a focus percentage. This is a phenomenal piece of gear. This is four out of five stats are phenomenal. Now, if this was like attack percentage or health percentage, a percentage is what you want. A percentage is going to give you bigger growth. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. If you got a flat stat up here, it's kind of a junk piece of gear and stuff. Um, I will make a video covering gear and how you can decide what's good and bad. Maybe giving you how I look at gear and what I think to monitor when I'm leveling gear, right? Um, I don't see value in any of these for these coins. Like I said, you just don't get enough of them, right? That's something you'd personally have to decide. Even this is not worth these coins. You just don't get enough. Um, now, free to play, you're going to have to make your own decision. Gold, I can't ever see buying any gold because, like I said, I got tons and tons of gold. But I did I did buy the cards and stuff. So let me know if you're buying any of this other stuff with your, uh, your guild currency. Now, the Arena Shop, this is one of the better characters, just like Yolanda is one of the better characters. You would not be wrong for spending your currencies on these shards, okay? Um, they are phenomenal. But again, as a free-to-play, this right here, and even as a spender... Like I said, for a legendary, you have to pull them seven times, smash six into the one to ascend it six times. That's seven legendary pulls. If you buy this, that's ascending it one time. So you would need six of these jars and one legendary character to make it a six-star ascended. Free to play, this might be the only way you can actually ascend to legendaries you want to pick and choose. Otherwise, you're reliant on pulling the same legendary to smash into the legendary you want to build. And that RNG is just astronomically against you, the statistics are. So... Definitely focus, I would think, on this personally is what I'm watching and I even spend. So, I just, it's very cost intensive, but at the same time, and again, this is all the credits I've gotten in two, three weeks. So, it might take me four months to get one ascension on a Lego I want, a legendary character. The gear in here is phenomenal. If you bought the gear or you're going to buy the gear, you would not be wrong. It's some best in the slot, but you can form gear in the campaigns once you get to that point. Um, would this boost your account up and help you clear more content? Absolutely. That's something you got to decide, but this is kind of where I'm focusing right here is to be able to ascend the Legos I do have because I don't think I'm going to have very many opportunities to get copies of the ones I got. Um, this other stuff down here, again, that's your personal preference, but you don't get much of this currency. <coughs> so looking at the trial shop, again, you're getting 10 shards. You're doing trials every two days. You get refreshed every two days, I do believe. And you're getting a decent amount of these. I'm going to make a trial, um, how I run them, what I would recommend you do. Essentially, you want to fight as many monsters as you can. Don't go for the buffs. Fight the monsters to get the currency, right? As for characters, I love dwarves. Obviously, I'd love to grab this guy. He's in the free city, actually, and he looks phenomenal. Um, oh, I won't pull up this picture. Okay. I don't think I'm buying these. And this is something where you, you're probably going to get an epic, but you have a chance at a legendary, right? For 3,500 coins. You really, right here, you can go any way you want. Um, another thing to think about is you can ascend right here for 3,000, a purple champion um, without pulling its duplicate. You eventually may get the purple duplicate. I don't know how free to play is, but this is something to monitor as well. It's another way to ascend character that you truly want to ascend. Um, for me, for Rickard, this might be the only way I can ascend him if I don't ever get his drops. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. This other stuff, again, I don't know that there's value in it, but... I'm just kind of going over what I would spend on. And for me, it's this right here, these shards. Because um, you're going to get, what would that be, six, seven, seven and a half pulls. 75 of these shards of one of these characters for one ascension of a epic character. Would you rather have 75 shards? Um, that's something you got to decide. You know, and if you want to roll your luck and see if you can pull a Lego, might not be the one you need, but it might be a Lego. So you never know. Or an epic that you need to ascend into somebody. 
Um, that's also something to think about. This is a guaranteed ascension. So do you want to risk it for a chance at a legendary? You know what I mean? Comment down below. I'd love to know what your perspectives are on this, but this is kind of what I would do. I'm just saving and holding off, hoping something breaks through. Again, this character is phenomenal. You're getting 60 shards for 800. Go here. Um, it's one out of one, and then weekly you can get 20 more for 600. I do believe you're going to need probably 100 of these shards, roughly. Uh, I know the blues, it takes like 40 character shards. Golds take 100, so you might only need 80 shards for an epic to make a, to a, essentially craft them or bring them to life with 80 of these shards. Um, what I'm buying out of here is nothing currently, and I don't know that I will buy anything out of here because the, most of this is all farmable. Um, free to play, you might need to buy energy tickets, milk coupons, you know. Um, that's something you're going to have to decide. Obviously, I think he's probably the best value in the whole thing. Um, personally, but that's what you got to decide. Definitely comment and let me what you know what you're going to do. I'm just going to save them because right now there's nothing in there that I want, need, and or have to spend on right now. So I'm just going to let it build up, see what happens there. Now, if you're destroying your champions, this is something I see happening or being more frequent six, six months down the road type of deal. But you can buy these summonings, and it will be a fire champion, a grass champion, water champion, etc. Um, but it's costing you these gold essences. Uh, banishing epics and legendary heroes. I can't imagine you doing that ever, essentially. So you're never going to have this currency. Um, but this blue currency, I can see you having. Rare and elites. Rares, I can see you banishing because you're going to send your rare eventually. Um, and then you're just going to banish them. I mean, there's nothing else to do with them once you have a character fully ascended and built, right? I mean, maybe you can make duplicates, but not many champions are going to be that way. You're going to throw them away. And then you're going to spend that currency in here. And obviously, I'd probably want to go for what you need. Um, if you need jelly, if you need gear charms, there you go. And if nothing else, you can always pull, boom, more summons for a Lego or an Epic. You know what I mean? Uh, would be my advice. So again, I'm just... I'm not doing nothing with this shop, the event shop, trial shop, arena shop. I'm not doing anything. Um, I'll probably get these, if anything, out of the arena shop someday. Um, Guild Vault, like I said, kind of how I'm breaking it down. I would re highly recommend this to anybody, even a free-to-play player. It's worth your 150 diamonds to have this. Just make sure you're turning it off when you're not farming. Um, and these are a must because you're getting the best value. You're getting that energy. You're going to refresh energy. I promise you it's saving you diamonds. Please buy this. It's going to help your account. And again, if you have plenty of gold like I do, you're going to want to buy all this stuff. And I'm just buying the gear to smash into stuff. So how much it's really helping? Not very much, but it's four more pieces of gear than I had before I bought it. All right. Definitely like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you're buying in the shops. If you're going with the Magic Pass or the cards, I call them raid cards, but they're uh, Awaken cards, I guess you'd call them because the game's Awaken. <laughs> Chaos Era. Um, Chaos cards, I guess you could call them. Um... I'm getting ready to make a video. My next video here is going to be Hero Synthesis, and I'm going to try to synthesize um, this dude here. I don't even know his name, but I want him. He's a dwarf. Um, and you got to smash these characters. And I'm going to go over how I'm doing it, what characters I got, and how easy it was or hard it was, and then kind of talk as, a prog as I progress, essentially. Um, all right, much love. Stay healthy. We'll see you all in the next one.